All right, here we go again. Today I'm shooting from inside the bunker because it's very windy outside. And I made a really, a, a very unsettling discovery about my videos that I've been shooting lately. I, if you've been following me for any length of time, I do these every day to justify the expense of having this killer new iPhone. And I just found out that for whatever reason, my audio has been completely screwed up when I was using the YouTube app. Now I'm not sure it's the app's fault, but it seems like it's so far. Anyway, that's beside the point. Today I want to talk to you about marketing online and the objective of it, which is to get your content seen by as many people who are interested in what you're talking about as possible. And unfortunately, with the rise of social media, many, many people, marketers especially, have been called over by the siren song of Facebook and Instagram and, and places like that. And the problem with that is they're not getting the exposure that they thought they were going to. When it first started out, Facebook was free, everybody was on there, you made a gazillion friends, and every post that you put out reached everyone you sent it to. Then they invented Facebook pages and they insisted that if you have a business, you're going to want to separate them and have a page so that your followers can become fans of the page. And then you put out posts and they saw all those too. And if you wanted to put out anything as far as marketing, it would be just like an ad or an email to them in your group or on your fan page. Groups came next and the latest greatest thing was to put everybody in your private group on Facebook. Every single launch of every single thing. Oh, you had to have your private Facebook group that you could talk to all your people. And I don't know what the reach is on a group, but I know it's very sad on a page. It's almost non-existent on your profile. You have to pay to have ads put out, and even though you're paying, a very small percentage of people ever see anything you've got to say. And tragically, Facebook was actually born based on forums. This is what they're all about. The only thing is, on a forum, Google crawls everything. Everyone who's on the forum sees everything you've got to say. There's no censorship of what you can put up or what you can't, you know, if you got a picture of a portion of a human body that's not covered with some kind of clothing, you know, like someone's kneecap is showing and Facebook's thing says, oh my God, you're, you're having an offensive post here. None of that. And everybody sees it and you can say, you know, within reason, polite society, anything you want to say. And the worst part about it is none of your links of anything you do on any of these social sites goes anywhere. You, they're not indexed and crawled by Google the way a forum is or your blog or anything else. And you don't, you're paying for something that you're actually not getting. So if your forum has the capacity for a blog, You've got your links going out from there. Every time you make a post in the forum and answer a question or interact with somebody, there are links in your signature that go out to other places. You can link back to your forum posts or your blog posts on the forum. And this is like a buffer between you and your sales page and your main content because it gives people kind of an oblique way to see who you are and what you're all about. And they'll get to know you because of the stuff that you post, what you're, what you're putting out, things you talk about. And then they'll be much more likely to interact with you, say, on your blog or get on your email list. This is, it's, it's such a profound difference that it's amazing people don't talk about this anymore. About the only places you'll see is if someone's teaching a course on how to create some content or copywriting and they'll tell you to go and Google forums so that you can get more in-depth knowledge of your target niche market. 
those are about the only place you hear about it. Everybody else, they're telling you to go on Facebook and do things there. As a final note, I just want to say that Facebook and Instagram and Twitter, they're all great for what they are. But as a marketer, that's the pond that you're fishing in. And when you go fishing, you don't hook the fish and let it swim around in the pond. You pull it into your boat. Get it? So that's what you're after. You want to fish and then bring people into your net, in your tank, in your area, so they're not distracted by all this other stuff and you can have a meaningful, meaningful conversation and build a good relationship with them on your turf. Keep that in mind and get on a forum today. That's all I got for right now. I'll talk to you tomorrow. I'm out.